All righty. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I am here on day number who fucking knows what. Uh, doing some more spiral grinding. I almost got world record yesterday. Today, I'm definitely not. Today, we're definitely taking things a little bit more easy. So if you want to see a hardcore world record grind, perhaps this isn't the stream for you. But if you want to see me practice and maybe do a no reset and also do some uh, photo shoot, taking like the thumbnail pictures that you probably see on my YouTube, um, then that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of that today. Uh, because, you know, I'm, not every day you can be like, you know, pro gamer, you know, up to speed. I'm just I'm just a sleepy boy. What can I say? I'm just a tired guy. What's up, Versified and Michi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's up, Aiden? Nice run yesterday. Thank you, thank you. Also, it looks like my, uh... I'm just texting Hayden right now. The, he's, he's updating the new chat, which appears to be broken right now. That's what it looks like, so I'm gonna have to switch back to the old chat in a sec. But what's up, guys? I can see you over there. chat here. One moment, and then I'll uh, get you guys all up in here. Here we go. Old chat back. What's up, Jay Trickster? Welcome, welcome. First time catching me live, huh? First timer? Yeah. You guys know what to do with first timers in this stream. Everybody kiss them. <laughs> Okay, so I want to practice some um, some strats here. Um, how do I do the thing? How do I re reload it? Is this it? Okay, that reloads, and then this is the flying. Okay. Um, but yeah, hey, Jemsey, Pizalro, Michi, Venu. Pizalro, thank you for the resub, by the way. Tier 1, three months. Congrats on the little silver badge color change. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, really appreciate the sub. Uh, Whitebait, what up? Yeah, guys, I am. Uh, I'm back. I almost went. And did, I almost didn't go online today. I'm on particularly late today because uh, I was just a sleepy boy today. I was just a little silly, sleepy guy. I took a shower. I jerked off. I went to the grocery store. You know, I did all that stuff today. Had a sandwich. Um, and yeah, I can just. I already know today. I'm not gonna get good runs, so I'm not even like trying to be Mr. Hardcore. Uh, what I am going to do is try to learn um, a alternate blowhard strat that I saw uh, Ash doing in their runs yesterday. So we're going to check that out. And uh, yeah, so don't flame the box. We're going to actually um, go straight into the box there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, thank you, VX. Yeah, today is going to be a rest day, chill day. I am going to do, I think, at least one no reset just to stay funky fresh. It's hard to say, like, if that's really faster. I guess it is technically. Hey, what's up, Mom? Good to see you. <laughs> Did you enjoy the ribs? I hope so. I hope you were able to get a good crust on them. What's up, Radio? Yeah, hi, Mom. That's my actual mom in the chat there. Power of Death asks, what's the black and white thing on the wall behind me? These are actually, my mom is in the chat. She sent me these acoustic, these are acoustic foam panels that I've taped to the, to the wall. Uh, so that way my my voice doesn't ring out like all loud in this room um and yeah it's like it's a big uh I'll, I'll actually show you it's a big spiral formation you can see there and it's meant to kind of signify uh the infinite spiral of doing speed runs and uh spiraling into insanity but also 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 it's deep because um it also reflects like the infinite journey that this uh game has sort of taken me on of uh, self-learning, like the deeper you go into the spiral, um, the the further you know, the further you you discover, like the, the the farther down the rabbit hole you go, the more you discover yourself, so to speak. So there's a lot to be said about like uh, you know you can't really see the end of the spiral, you know, but uh, yeah, it can be but it can be interpreted as a both good spiral and a and a, a good spiral of self um, self actualization and also a bad spiral of insanity and uh, doing the same thing over and over with with no different results. So that's the, that's the thing on the wall there. That's the whole artist interpretation of that. You didn't think I'd have a whole fucking art ex exhibit about it, did you? Well, there you go, bitch.
What's up, Bex? What's up, everybody? Good to see y'all. I don't know if I like this strat. What I need to do is time it. So on the fly in here, oop. Gotta try again. I think I'll hit the timer right when I hit the ground here. Like that. So here's the old strat. And I'll time it up to the dragon. Oops, I already fucked it up. So I'm practicing a new strat here. bad I gotta do this I gotta do my old strat a few times before it all works out yeah I know I have to have the old chat on because um because Hayden has been messing with the new one it's not working at the moment there's a mod composer drop today what is it no I did not see it It's working? Okay. One second. So, I have to sign in on Twitch and YouTube, he says, in order for it to appear. Which I sign in on Twitch, and it's sign in on YouTube. Let me show you what I'm looking at here, Hayden. One sec. Look my stream. This is what happens when I try to sign in on YouTube. I get this message. So, uh... Yeah, so, no, it's not working for me, unfortunately. together if you want, Hayden. Good to know. Can I send you that? Send you what? The screenshot? Here's, here's what it looks like on my end. I, you, I can sign in on Twitch. That works. I guess. But it still, it still doesn't show me anything, unfortunately. Unfortunately, not working. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get back to the game here. The screenshot? Okay, let me bring it back up. You can't just go back in the stream and... Alright, fine. Fine. Give me a moment. I'm cropping the screenshot. Give me a moment. Get back to Spyro in just a sec. Dude, I never hear this part of the song. Fucking banging. All right, there's screenshot number one, and I guess I'll since we're since we're taking a bunch of screenshots here, I'll go back to the other one. I'll just I'll just send you this one I guess. All right, let me open Discord. Man can't screenshot himself. 
It's hard to talk to me with chat. Just call you, don't waste my time. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I, uh, yeah, I guess we'll figure out a time to call later. Screen got all fucked up. Hold on. Oh yeah, this Discord's trying to open. I'm just gonna close that. Uh, okay. All right. So yeah. So I guess. All right. So new plan. Uh, the new plan is we're gonna call on Discord later. So we'll go figure that out later. Sounds good. Hey, it's all good. Um. All right. Anyways. Get back to the game here. I'm trying to learn this fucking strat here, everybody. What's up, Kin? Oh, I need to I need to time the old strat and then time the new one up to the dragon. the old strat right what's up some 41 Easter what Easter today nice I'm learning a new strategy Right now, I'm just timing the old one. Dude. Can't fucking flame. straight into the dragon. So 25 seconds straight into the dragon there. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And uh, neither do I. So let's try again here. All right, so now here's the here's the different strat. I'm learning a new strat door and everybody else. I'm learning a new strat. So here's the new strat. Is you charge directly into this thing and grab whatever gems you want from here. And then grab those boxes. Missing jumps. Pretend like I got that. Cool, I got ceilinged. Cool. I exited level like a fucking idiot. Almost had that. So again, it was 25 seconds with the old strat up to the dragon. Just going straight up to the dragon. Let's try again here. I'm trying to decide whether this strat is worth it or not. Because it's, chances are it's just going to be like the same. I'm just going to be sight limited by the cycle is what it seems like. Hold on, let's try again here. The gem That was thirty one. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. 31 no minus 5, because I guess I started my timer weird, or something. So it's like the same, basically. What's up, blue eye? I'll just do the new one one more time, just to see if I can get like a 24. Oh, 
Also, notably, the old strat does not waste a sparks where this one does. But that's okay. Yeah, it's, you're still limited by the cycle no matter what. 26. I mean, it's it's like basically the same. You might as well do the old strat if you can do it fast like me. All right, that's my conclusion. Because even if you were to get like super duper like fast with that, like you're still limited by the this platform like moving down the cycle. So it it really doesn't matter. But it was still cool, still a cool idea. What's up, weekends? I saw this strat. I saw that strat on Ash's stream yesterday. As some of you may or may not know, there are other people that grind this category that are very good, probably at the same or even a higher skill level than myself. Uh, named Lumi Laura and Ash R E underscore L. If you're not following either of them, uh, do check them out. I also really struggle. Well, I mean, I'm brand new to the strat, dude. You gotta cut me a break that I'm struggling or whatever. I'm just trying to get an accurate timing. That's all I was doing. I wasn't necessarily trying to get it super perfect there. Um, I'm trying to, I was more just kind of trying to decide whether I wanted to like try to work on that or not. And I've come to the conclusion that I don't. You can stand here, dude. You guys know that? Isn't that funny? All right. Okay, where am I going? Yeah, Harrison, it doesn't matter now. What's up, TK? I'm doing good, man. Again, there's no use like splitting hairs over like the strat difference there when when e when both strats are limited by the cycle of the platforms. It's like, what are we pulling hairs over here? We're pulling hairs over a non-time difference. Even if one strat's more awkward or whatever, that's that's just a matter of opinion, really. What's up, Softlock? Alright, um... Where am I gonna go now? Let's, um... I don't wanna do the world's craziest practice session right now or anything. I kinda wanna just do, like, kind of a no reset and then, uh... And then call it a day. But let me head over to... Um, what's it called? Beastmakers first. I'm actually going to teleport to... Uh, let's do Bog. I mean, I always warm up Mama Proxy. I mean, let me try some different stuff today. Let's do some Bog. Even as a Brit, you're hoping I take the record from Laura. I wonder how she feels about that. Isn't it funny that, like, you would have probably been typing the exact same shit exactly two years ago when Laura first took the- or what was it? One year ago when Laura first took the any percent record from me? People were typing the exact opposite thing in her chat. Isn't that, isn't that like, kind of a funny way how, like, time... You know, being an underdog in something and then it's like, ah, like, you know... Yeah, Laura, fu you can fuck Dayo up here, man! You're gonna destroy his record! It's funny. And now here you are typing the same thing in my chat for me. And then if I get the record back, then, then it'll turn right back into Laura taking the record. You know, it's just like, just the the different hype and storylines of it are just hilarious. Like, yeah, like you gotta be on somebody's team, you know? It's like, oh, all right, like I'm really rooting for you in particular. You know, it's like, 
All right. So that's just the nature of competition, I guess. The nature of a spectator sport. Wow, I suck. Dude, I am not going to get a good run today. I'm just telling you guys right now. People want to win. People want an underdog win is what people want. It doesn't matter who it is. It's just like if you're the underdog, if you're the person in second place or whatever, or third in my case, people are going to want me to get the record. And then once I get the record, you know, then whoever's in second and third place, it's like, all right, now we want them to get the record. It's just like an endless cycle. What people I feel like don't like as a spectator sport, and this is very common in speedrunning actually, is when one person is just dominant. Like that actually kind of creates like a villain arc for people where it's like, ah, oh, fuck, this one person has lowered the record several times. Like me in 120%. I'm like the villain in 120%. Like anybody who even comes remotely close to my record, it's like, that, that's when you're gonna start seeing all the, yo, oh, fuck Deo, you can fucking take his time, no problem, you know? He doesn't even do net. That's when you're gonna start seeing all the Deo haters come out. It's just so funny. It's just funny how, how it all goes like that, you know? You want to see me dominate? I mean, you're in my stream right now, so that would make sense, right? But like, what if you're in Laura's stream? You're gonna go into Laura's chat and be like, I honestly, I hope Deo beats you. <laughs> you're gonna really type that shit? I doubt it. Fucking doubt it, bro. It'll be the other way around. You'll be like, I hope you beat Deo, you know, and vice versa and so on and so forth. That's just the way it goes, man. That's just insta death there. Thought I had sparks, but I guess not. Yeah, everyone's a sucker for the underdog. You're not alone on that one. Just a funny phenomenon, like, you know, just... Because it doesn't matter who you are is the thing. It doesn't matter if you're, like, cool or a dick or whatever. Like, that'll have some slight impact on it, but really it's just like, are you the underdog or not? Like, you can be a fucking dick and be the underdog. You know? And right now, I'm kind of the underdog in this category, kind of, just because I'm in third place, and... You know what I mean? So it's like, everyone's just kind of rooting for me here. It's just funny. Because obviously, I'm not like an underdog in this game, or in streaming, or in personality. I'm not like this humble dude. I'm fucking... I'm over here like fucking, yeah, guys, I'm sick, blah, 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 check out my, what, like, my record, or... You know? I'm only an underdog in the sense that I don't have world record literally in this exact category. And yet still the underdog narrative prevails. Like since I've been getting a lot of PBs lately, it's like, oh yeah, like, come on, you got this. Push for a record. It's funny today, cause today is like a day where I'm, I can't, like, I just know that I'm too tired. Like I woke up today and I was like, there's, I'm not getting like a good run today. Like I, I, you just know when you've been doing it this long, you just know. How you're feeling, how tired you are, how lethargic you feel. You gotta be on point for this shit, y'all. And so you just know in some days you're not gonna you're not gonna do it. I'm gonna head over to Mama Proxy real quick also, just side note. By the way, what up Spyroner? I see you over there. Uh Clifftown. So yeah, it's not meant to be like there, you know, you should root for me or you shouldn't root for me or anything like that. You should be a certain way. It doesn't matter. It's just like I'm just I'm just outlining the whole like storylines and speedrunning and in, in any competitive gaming or spectator sport type of thing. It's just like it's just a funny back and forth of like, now we're rooting for you. Now we're rooting for you. Now we're rooting for you. And like each time you root for a new person, it's like, fuck that other guy I was rooting for. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's just it's just a fucking hilarious thing. It's like we're we're very short sighted. <laughs> But yeah, not not that I have a problem with any of that. I was watching a melee tournament yesterday. There was like a what is it, Battle of British Columbia? Talk about storylines and people being fucking hater bitches and rooting for random ass motherfuckers, you know? The fucking guy who won the tournament uh, had like the craziest uh, losers run ever. But because he's the w number one player, everyone was like, boring, yawn, you know, like, ugh, who's gonna finally beat this? It's like, he's not the underdog, so who fucking cares that he, like, went on this crazy, like, run through the bracket, like, 
and played some of the best melee, melee ever. Who cares? He's not the underdog, so not interesting. You know, that's like literally how people look at it. It's 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 just it's funny. It's funny. We don't care about the the run. We don't care about the game. We don't care. We hardly even care about the person themselves. We care about the storyline. What's up, Alex? Wearing clothes, this isn't what I did. It's okay, I'm wearing my, if I pull it down, it looks like I'm wearing a muscle shirt. I look like Cali muscle. Got her slightly seeing red. Well, Laura's, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm not gonna speak for her, but hasn't she been kind of like struggling with runs lately? If I were her, I would especially not want to be like seeing chats about me and like, oh, you know, Dale's doing really good right now. Like, <laughs> like that kind of pissed me off too. That owner is joking. Oh, what happened? I'm trying to find his chat. I can't even see it. Um, <clears throat> what's an up dog, dude? Who even knows? Yeah, dude. I mean, like, this is a spectator sport, guys. Like, you guys are all, like, fucking on the sidelines, you know, cheering for whoever the fucking underdog is. That's how it's always gonna be. I'm, like, stoked that I can be the underdog again, at least to a small degree. Maybe not, like, the super duper underdog. Like, because when you've never gotten a record before, then you're, like, really the underdog, you know? In my case, I'm not, like, as much the underdog as I once was, but... I currently am like kind I'm the up dog. I'm the up dog. I'm not the underdog, I'm the up dog. <laughs> You're joking. It's cool. I didn't even see your message. You're chilling. I'm taking nothing personally right now. It's all good. Like I said, I've been the one that's been getting blessed with good runs and good rats lately. Like that could all change like on a dime. And then Laura or Ash could just start getting fucking amazing rap. Dude, Ash has actually been getting like 35 paces every day that they've been streaming. I don't know if you guys realize this, but yesterday Ash like got like, a, I think like a world recordable run into nasties. Like, so like any one of us can, can take it. It's just, you know, it's just who's going to do it. Okay, um, I'm gonna do rat proxy, <laughs> excuse me, rat proxy real quick, and uh, then I'll do a run. Let's go to Nexus. But yeah, I just want to reiterate, there's nothing wrong with the whole, like, rooting for someone or, you know, storylines or, yeah, you could fuck this other guy up, but, like, I don't care, dude, like. Like, I'm glad you guys are just excited about this whole shit, you know? It makes me happy. That there is, like, any degree of competition at all here, that's, like, kind of a... It's like a shooting it's like multiple shooting stars lining up for people to like all be at like pushing like be at the same level to be on the cusp of a new world record like that's actually kind of rare like i said it's usually just one person that's like pushing a world record progression and speed running so i like it this way yeah i improved my pb by two seconds you can see it on my second channel if you type exclamation point clips in the chat it's not the run that i posted on my main channel is not gonna work. I hate when that happens. Pressing right too early. You get excited when I upload a run. Now I don't really have to, actually it's kind of funny now with my YouTube channel, like I don't really, I'm kind of de-incentivized from uploading runs now, like I posted like that 3730 on my main channel and honestly kind of a bad move. The algorithm did not like that because you guys now because I'm streaming on this website, you guys see all my runs live or you can watch the VOD. So like it's just funny how the dynamic has changed there. Like yeah, like you said, I used to just like upload whatever runs I thought were noteworthy. Some good rats. Um and yeah, those it was like a whole different vibe. Now it's like, this is a proper, like, streaming channel. 
Which is good because I'm I'm a streamer, you know, like I'm I'm a streamer first and a video creator second, so it makes sense that my YouTube is this way. It's just a, it is definitely different than before because it's like, I kind of have to post whatever if I'm gonna like cut up a run and post it, I have to do it on my second channel because, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like when I just like repost a run that I already streamed on the same channel, you know. Like just think about that. Like doesn't really make sense. It's just redundant, you know. Yeah, everyone liked the uh, anti-piracy video. In fact, that video uh, single-handedly held up my YouTube channel this, this last month. If it weren't for that video getting like, what, 20, 30,000 views, like, I wouldn't be, ma I'd probably be making like, half the money I'm making on YouTube this month. This is my, it's my second ever $1,000 a month on YouTube. Everyone say congrats. By the way, Ludwig, thank you for the, speaking of money, thank you for the uh, resub. It has been a while. I hope you're doing well, uh, Ludwig. Cute vibes in the chat. I'm thinking let's do a run, everybody. I'm ready. Let's just get it. Switch discs here. Get off the practice codes. But yeah, I just want to say it, won't, it wouldn't be a $1,000 a month if it weren't for you guys doing memberships. That $1,000 includes, like, memberships and super chats and stuff, so... I think we're at like 50 members now. But well, thanks everyone. I, I need I think I have more emote slots, I think, right? I need to add more YouTube emotes. Also, Lazy sent me some emotes that I have to add as well that I still haven't done. Some animated ones. With like the rat flying around and shit. So yeah. Good shit, everybody. The CPM, dude, I don't even know. It's like what is it, like ten or fifteen dollars? Is that the is that the right one? Where it's like uh the Per per thousand views or whatever. I don't even know the <laughs> See, I don't know. Is it RPM the one we want? I don't know. Yeah, the only reason I make a, like a decent amount of money from YouTube. Not like I don't make like a lot of money from YouTube, but I make like a decent amount. It's because of all my videos are really long, so. So it has a lot of watch. They have a lot of watch time. When when a video like the fucking like the anti piracy video gets a lot of views, it's like that's a really long video. So like it's a gets more money than than something smaller. Anyways, three, two, one, go. Let's get it. Yeah, I'll, I'd have, I'd have to check what the CPM and the RPM is. I haven't checked any of that. I, I remember last time I checked all that stuff. It's like very average for a gaming channel. Like it's somewhere between like ten and twelve dollars, whatever the number is, the cost per or like the. The, the amount of money per, what is it, per thousand view per 10,000 views? I don't know. It's some bullshit like that. <laughs> You'd think I would know the these analytics terms better, but I don't. I just look at the YouTube dashboard and it's like, money earned, like, up. It's so funny, guys. If you have a YouTube channel, it's so funny because you go on your dashboard, like you're about to upload a video. You know, you go to the little creator homepage there, the studio it's called. And it's just like, it doesn't like break down all the analytics. It's just like total money gained, like up or down. It's like, it'll be green or red. It's just very funny like that. Like when your channel's doing bad, it'll be like, you know, oh, bad money down. <laughs> what it's doing and it's like, good money go up. <laughs> it's so funny. Such a silly website. Fifteen dollars is really. I think it's less than fifteen. I think it's like twelve or something. It's over ten, which is which is good. That's like better than like most channels. But it's average for a gaming channel from the short amount of research I've done like a long time ago. Dude, fuck. Yeah, but the thing about, like, looking at that CPM is, like, it doesn't really take watch time into consideration. I mean, maybe it does, I don't know, but, like, watch time is an important thing on YouTube. That's what I was trying to say earlier, is, like, you could have, like, a five-minute video that gets, like, 100,000 views, and that would make less money in my case than, like, the fucking anti-piracy video getting, like, 20,000 views, uh, because that video is so much longer, so it has a longer watch time. It's like the value of one view, you know, when it's, you know, extended over several, several ad breaks, you know, it's, it's much more valuable. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if CPM takes that, uh, takes watch time into consideration. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I, again, I'm not an expert on YouTube analytics. Also, there's something called RPM, uh, which is like a ver which is like a different way of measuring. So I don't know. <laughs> like, like I said, I'm not really super good on the YouTube analytics. Close enough. You'd pay money to watch me do it in that voice. What the fucking money green money go up we're good good money i love china i don't know <laughs> china good that should boost my ad revenue right right there time save good <laughs> speed run no lose time bad green split good Damn, i already lost two seconds on the fucking yeah this run's not pb in today i'm just telling you guys Today's a today's a chill vibe day. Please do not expect anything too hardcore from me. I am gonna try my best, of course, but we're probably just gonna do a, a no reset or two if I'm feeling feisty, and then uh, and then maybe take some photos in the uh, world viewer in the uh, spiroscope free camera. Horny chat, good. Spyro four questions, bad. <laughs> yeah, too bad you're a pace pal, I'm sorry. No, I'm still keeping it together, it's just uh... We'll see, who knows? Maybe I'll actually get a decent run today, who knows? Rue, thank you for the tier one, he says, uh, Hi, beautiful and beautiful chat, love, uh, love you all and have a great week. Thank you, man, thank you for the kind word, the loving, kind words, just like a, just like a, a mother of the chat room would say. Rue, you can be my 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 mommy any day. <laughs> I'll shut up now. I'll st I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll just say thank you and move on. I shouldn't have said anything. I'll just I'll just stop. Stop now. <sighs> Is liking Bianca bestial? Yeah, I know. Right now, everyone thinks that's the cause of me getting PBs. Let's talk about fucking stupid shit. Are those balls real? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, when I said the mother of the chat, I mean, I instantly thought, like, hmm, that's actually Bex, if I'm being completely honest. Thank you for the congrats, Uranium. So what was that yesterday? I did that yesterday, huh? Damn. Feels like it feels like that was ages ago. That's fucking wrong. Chilling though. Thanks for the good luck, Lazzy. Hey, remind me after this run to add those emotes you sent me. Damn, it's like bright. I need to like I need to close the blinds a little bit. My vampirism is showing. How long does the high of a PB go for? Pretty much, I would say 12 hours. <laughs> Not even. Hold on, let me focus. Ooh, not barely. Almost missed that. Okay. Good start. Hey, this run's got potential. Just saying. Yeah, maybe three hours. Yeah, until the next stream, basically. True. The actual adrenaline high wears off in like, I would say like half an hour, maybe an hour. Because it is an adrenaline high being on a PB pace and closing it out for sure. A 
But the actual like feeling proud of yourself, like, oh wow, I'm like, I'm sick and not washed up, you know, that lasts like maybe an evening. Like even after when I went offline, I wasn't even thinking about like the fact that I PB'd. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's like drugs, dude. Like the more you fucking PB and shit, the less like it makes you actually feel good at all. To be completely honest. I'll get up there. Bringing it back a little bit. The 120 and 120%, I was definitely partying, you know, but... Like I said, like the next day, it was just like, alright, that's it, you know? On to the next thing. So like, even that, you know, it's, it's not like the party lasts more than a night, you know? For any, like, accomplishment that you'll have in life, you know? Like, it's an honor to me that people are even coming in my chat now and be like, congrats on the PB yesterday, like it isn't like ancient history or something. That's why I'm saying, like, it's still, it feels like ancient history at this point. That's how fucking, like, brain dead, like, from the internet our minds are. Everything just, you do so, you work so hard to accomplish something and then it's like, all right, the next day it's like, okay, what, now what? What's next, everybody? Like, it's, it's hard to, like, be, like, happy about something for an extended period of time. Yeah, PB stands for poop butt. I'll probably lose a second here. All right, well, we're doing good so far. I'm a little behind these splits, but this run actually has a chance here, which is nice. I mean, I was going to no reset even if I missed any of those tricks, so it's nice not to have missed them and to actually have a chance at maybe a PB here. But I am a little behind, so we're going to have to squeeze back some of this time loss here. Let's see what happens. I still don't know where the time loss really is on these splits. I, like, was sort of learning it for the 3730, and now I have a 3728, so now I have to, like, relearn. Not get confused. In due time. What's the mechanics of a double jump? Well, that, that's in Spyro 2. Like, just to be very clear, well, that's not in this game or in Spyro 3, just in Spyro 2. It's, you have to be neutral on your, uh, on your D-pad, so no movement inputs. And then, um, while jumping, like, while holding X during a jump, you press square, and then he, like, charges upward with the, with the momentum of the jump. And that's what, what we call a double jump. That's all. That's all there is to it. There's a couple of like rules to it that like you can't be holding a direction on the joystick or D-pad while while doing the actual square input. And also that you can't have too much horizontal momentum, so you can't immediately double jump out of a charge. That's why people do walking double jumps and not charging double jumps. But besides that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Yeah, Bex is now a Spyro 2 expert, so you can ask her all of your double jump questions. Davey Winder, thank you for the uh, Prime, man. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day, Dave. Double jump. Just your eyes seem to have a frame where Spyro looks to flop. Hold on, I'll read the rest of your message in a sec. You're really making me think very hard while I should be probably focusing on the game, I'll tell you that much. To really answer your chat correctly. <laughs> seems to have a frame where he flops and then gains a bit of extra height. Um, th that is, what you're describing is a real thing, but it does not describe what happened in Dry Canyon. Usually the camera, like, wigs out a little bit when you... 
you do that jump. I don't know. I really can't explain it in great detail right now, nor do I really have the answer I think you're looking for. To be completely honest with you, I'm not like a fucking... I don't have all the answers, you know? But surely there is an answer to what you're saying. I just don't have it in this moment. Can't be arsed. Is it faster to roll by the yellow or jump? Hold on one sec. Watch it on the clock. I love to hear that, Davey. To roll by the yellow or jump? If it's a bad time to ask, then you're... I mean, it's okay, guys. You're just asking me very, like, intricate questions that kind of require me to take my head away from what I'm actively doing. <laughs> you know? You guys are, okay, well, how does this exact fucking mechanic in this exact spot work? It's like, damn, bro. Like, can I... Can I play the game here for two seconds? Like... What is this fucking talk out? No, and then I'll be done with the run, and then all you guys are- you don't ask anything like that anymore. It's like you guys just leave after that. That's the fucking funny part about speedrunning, dude. About this shit. So you guys only ask the deep, intricate questions when I, like, need to focus. It's just funny. So yeah, sorry, I can't- I really don't have the brain power to answer y'all's questions. Maybe some other Spyro nerd in the chat can. Yeah, literally all of these questions would be totally appropriate for the Spyro Discord, which I know none of you guys will join. What's a great thing to do to start off speedrunning Spyro? Probably cocaine. Maybe meth. Thanks for watching. You're asking how do I start speedrunning Spyro? Are these questions like for real? Like, I just want to be honest here. Like, are these for real questions? Or are you guys just trying to distract me and throw my run off the rails right now? I'm just, I just want to be, I just want to ask point blank here. Do a blind run. If that question was for real, do a blind run. Pick a category and then do a run without a route and put a timer on. Do the world's shittiest speed run and see if you like it before actually devoting time and effort to learning it and copying people's movement and stuff. That's the real answer to that. That's how you get started. But once you've done that, then, um... Then you can learn a route, which means uh, copying somebody's uh, movement exactly. Basically, it's not, it doesn't have to be exact, but like copy copy somebody somebody's general route. You know, you're copying a route. You know, you go here, you go there, you grab this, you grab that. You gotta watch someone and just copy them level by level until you memorize the entire run. I'm not even joking. That's how it works. And can, if that sounds like too much, then don't even worry. If you're just getting into it, that's why I say just do a blind run. Don't even worry about that shit yet. Who says you gotta worry about that shit then? Not me. Thanks for the grats, Odyssey. You'd like to do 120? You did some out of, st out of bounds stuff? Cool. Yeah, man, do a 120 playthrough. See how you like it. With like a timer and just try to go fast and don't even worry about like doing all the correct things or whatever. Just see if you... See if you can handle sucking that badly. See if that, like, is something that you're willing to put up with before continuing. Sub door. Thank you. Sub Zot True True. Doing good, doing good. Thank you for the good luck.
How am I losing a second there? Thanks for the good luck, Chloe. Did races and crash, spiral and ratchet. Nice. Sounds fun. You know, if anyone's curious about getting into just like random races and hanging out in Discord calls with people while they play through, while we all like play through a game that we all suck at. If you're interested in that, check out uh, The Rixer's uh, Twitter. Um, he has a Discord that he can invite you to where people are doing that. Ugh, painful. You hate Spyro, your attorney said it's good to have this in the watch history. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for what- thank you for uh, doing the correct legal move and watching my stream. You know how doctors say like an apple a day keeps the doctor away? A fucking day stream a day keeps you out of uh, keeps you out of the FBI watch list. So crafty. I'm familiar with Oddworld. I haven't actually watched any speedruns of the various Oddworld games, though I do like Stranger's Wrath. I would definitely watch some runs of Stranger's Wrath. Dude, really? It's fucking slow. Dude. Yeah, this run can't world record anymore. I'm just gonna say it. I shouldn't have even gotten excited at all. <laughs> I'm just playing like shit today, like I- And by playing like shit, I mean I'm not literally playing perfect. Therefore I'm playing like shit. You're either perfect or shit at this level. So yeah, so that level went not perfectly, so I should be ashamed of myself, basically. Your favorite Resident Evil game? I mean, I love Resident Evil 4, I also like Resident Evil 5. A little bit less, but I do like that game. It's fun playing co-op in that game on 360 back in the day. I never played the Resident Evil 4 remake. Chocobo, thank you for the good luck. You only saw someone model swap Ashley with an overweight one, and it was funny. Is that what, like, an obese Ashley? <laughs> that's, that sounds kind of funny. I'm throwing her into the fucking dumpster and shit to hide. Gagoosh. What's up, Santo? Thanks for the good luck. Crash Team Racing Remake. Yeah, people who still play the fucking Crash Nitro Field online are probably fucking mega degen type shit, or cheaters. I'm going slow here and missing gems. Still caught the cycle, interestingly. I was going really slow there, but I guess not. I'm so under jammed right now. This is really not good. Don't 
Yeah, isn't that crazy, Liam? Like, I feel like a lot of us spent, like, a lot of time playing Crash Team Racing as kids. And it's funny that it's like, when you go back to the game now and, like, compare yourself to, to like, an actual speedrunner, it's like, the level of gameplay is just so- Like, it doesn't matter how much time you spend casually playing CTR. Like, unless you have, like, an, in an intimate knowledge with what's going on under the hood in that game, like, you're just fucked, basically. It doesn't help that most of, like, the things, like, in that game that, like, tell you whether you're going fast or not are basically invisible. You know, like, whether you're, you know, your reserves and fucking, like, all the sacred fire and all this shit, like, uh, I'm no expert, but it's like, damn, like, you really gotta know what you're doing, you know, to actually take advantage of the mechanics, you know? It's not something you can just learn by feel. Why would I put music over the Spyro soundtrack? I mean, I wouldn't, but if you're playing this game on emulator, it's actually faster to turn the music off. So in that case, it would make sense to play with music. Like if you watch like Piggy Bank's recent uh, 123 and 120%, he has actually some pretty chill, chill beats playing while he's fucking gaming out of his mind. It's kind of a vibe actually. A lot of Vortex players do that as well. I don't hate on it. What's up, Smike? Thank you for the good luck. As long as the game sound is still there, like, I'm happy. It's when people fucking put music on and they just mute the game that kind of... I don't want to say pisses me off, but it kind of irks me a little. It's like, I don't care about your music that much. Like, I'm here to watch Spyro, not your fucking Spotify playlist. But yeah, playing on emulator, turning the music off at the start of the run, and just having the beats playing, like... That's chill. Makes sense, you know, it's faster. You can still hear the game. I don't have a problem with that. But of course, play thankfully on console, you don't have to turn the music off, and I do like the actual original music from this game, and also, I hate that I'm sparksless right now. That's a fucking nightmare. Genuinely, Laura and Ash are so fast at this section, and I'm like fucking awful at it. Dude. Dude. That's actually so fucking bad. Crazy. Crazy bad there. I, w I didn't even check my gem count, so... I don't even know. This run's a total wash. But it's fine. I said at the start of stream today, you know, I'm playing, like, I'm tired today. I know I'm not getting good runs today. That's why I went online late, that's why I did my groceries today, that's why I did, like, not hardcore speedrunner stuff today. So, if I'm really not feeling it after this run, I probably won't do another. Just cause, like I said, I can't get- I just can't get world record today. It's just, like... I hate to sound- I'm not trying to sound like a doomer or whatever about it, it's just like- It's just the honest truth, like, you can't always be at your best every single day. And today I woke up tired and just, like, not- Not my best, you know? Just how it is. Yeah, definitely start the soup, uh, strawberry. I got all the stuff for a strawberry to make, a uh, minestrone. It's gonna be good. The ghetto margs. I mean, I didn't drink too much yesterday. I've drinking more than I did yesterday and woken up, like, 
ready to get a world record, man. It's just I just didn't sleep that well overall. If you want to blame alcohol for that, go ahead, but you're not my fucking doctor, all right? I don't need you to speak for me on this one. Like, yes, if I don't drink any alcohol and I exercise more and I only eat well, then yes, I will probably overall sleep better. But I think regardless of that, you're still entitled to have the occasional bad night of sleep. Even if you're the most healthy fucking exercise, like eat right, you know, you still will just sometimes not sleep great. And there's no reason for it. Like, that's like, that's OK. You know, we don't have to like start going down the fucking blame, like self self-critical blame game here about it, you know. You're fighting off an infection? Yeah, I feel that. No judgment? I'm glad. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry for going in on you. I, I, I'm like, I, that's something I need to get better with. I will admit it, like... You can say, like, I'm reading too deep into things or whatever. So, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to... ...say that you're saying something when you're not saying anything. Pretty much anything that anyone ever types in my chat is meant to be just like a joke and not like serious. Even if it's like the meanest, dumbest shit in the world, like, like, I gotta remember, like, everything is a joke. Nothing is serious. Nobody actually feels the way that they type in my chat. That's like something I have to always keep in mind. And you could call me dumb for like, for not being able to pick up on like sarcasm and jokes and stuff more easily, but it is like, unless you guys stream, you guys don't know how difficult that is, genuinely. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like the king of miscommunications like that. <laughs> Nasty. So, my bad. Oh my god, fuck. Dude, I've been sparksless this entire time. I forgot to grab the sparks, um, what is it? Before this level. <laughs> I'm like, you're not supposed to be sparksless here. Even if you're sparksless at the end of the bog, you're supposed to grab the sparks behind the portal. <laughs> yeah, that was so silly. I was like, why am I sparksless still? Yeah, Roti saving the day there. You hope my toilet clogs later? Why? ignoring everything in the level just to make sure you don't lose the two thieves otherwise you couldn't do the supercharge I think it is possible to despawn the thieves but on a, on your on a general casual playthrough like you usually won't I don't know what can I say Did Cheddar get temptations for his birthday? Yes, we gave him some some cookies, we call them. And some meowy wanna and pets and stuff. He's a very good boy. What's up, Uranium? Welcome, welcome. Get up here. Oh my god, please get up here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. About to have a stroke. I'm gonna do the 120 strat here because I'm pretty sure I'm like horribly under gender right now. And also Smike with the tier 3, I just saw that as well. I don't know if I didn't said that earlier, but thank you so much, Smike. Oh, I need that. I wasn't looking at the game there. Um, did I get all that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm just not in the headspace to play this game optimally today. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Like, I'm not, I don't feel bad. I'm not that tired, but I'm tired enough where it's just like, I just can't be fucking arsed to be like the best I could be today, you know? You guys know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't be fucked to be the best ever at this game. Like, you really can't be the, your best every day. And today's like such a good example of that. It's not that I'm having like a bad day or I'm in a bad mood or anything. It's just that like, I just can't be fucked 
to be the best at this right now. To like really try like to really put my heart and soul into this. I just can't be fucked, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad day. Like people are like, oh, you're just having a bad day. It's like, I don't want to say I'm having a bad day. It's just like today just isn't a world record like PB day, you know? Like I can hardly give a fuck about what I'm doing right now. Like, I barely caught that. I'm still having fun playing, you know, d despite it all. It's just, uh, it's just funny how how mu how much of like a pivot it is from how is from how I've been playing the last few days. I really almost did not stream today. Yeah, whenever it comes to like the to streaming is like a real job versus real jobs, like comparing what a real job is. Like people always bring up like clips of like just streamers just reacting to like fucking movies or anime and just sitting on their ass for like six hours. But like that's very different I think than than like what any like really serious like gamer on Twitch is doing. Which is like you said, like really using like a hundred percent mental capacity. Now with that said, it really still is not comparable to like a real job, you know. This isn't even like a job. This is just like me just sitting here playing games and hoping that people donate to me, you know, basically. So, I mean, that's, how can you even call that a job? That's not even a job. <laughs> that's just me just the hoping, I'm the, it's like calling someone on the street, like panhandling for money. It's like, oh, interesting job you have there. It's like literally the absence of a job is what it is. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny to me when people uh, compare Things like streaming or, you know, street performance or whatever to, like, a job. It's n they're not jobs. You know, you can, you can be disciplined with them to the extent that they resemble, like, real careers and jobs, but... They're just simply not one in the same. They're, they're just, they're just apples to oranges, you know? But yeah, I see that on Twitter a lot. Like, there'll be, like, the occasional fucking... Streaming is hard! you know, fucking whiny shit, and everyone in the comments is like dunking on them, like... Because in a lot of senses, like, even, even trying to be like hyper-focused for multiple hours at a time, like, in a lot of senses, that is still much easier than like some real jobs, you know? And in some senses, it's harder. So you just can't compare. They're just not comparable, they're, they're just different things. I make my own money. I mean, I want to reiterate, I'm completely reliant on you guys for money. Like, I'm almost like 90%, I would say I'm like 90% reliant on you guys like subbing and throwing money at me to, to get by here, you know? Sure, I get some ad revenue, but, you know, five, six, three, four, that's actually not that bad. We can skip the yellow. What's up, Yuki? So yeah, I mean, what job? I mean, a, a job in my mind is you're entitled, I'm going the wrong way, is you're entitled to a salary. Like, that's, like, you work X amount of hours, so you're entitled to X amount of money. Like, that's what a job is, right? But that's not how this works. This isn't even a job. I, I, I can't call this a job even if I want to. A career, maybe. A, a life, a, a pursuit in life. You know, but... Job is just the wrong word. Because I'm not entitled to you guys' money. Just just for showing up and, and streaming and whatever. Like really every month that I can get away, literally I feel like I'm getting away with this lifestyle every month that I get away with it. It's like I thank my lucky stars because it's just like something like this just disappears like before your eyes if you know if God knows what even happens like at, at, like literally Thanos life can Thanos snap this away from me I could get banned at any moment you guys can just decide on a whim that you just don't like me anymore like all of that stuff is like completely legit I could pivot really hard in what I'm doing here to where you guys don't want to support me you know like all of those things are very real you know. And those are things that are not like, you know, I don't know. They're not, those are not job-like things. Maybe they are job-like things. I don't know. 
All right, let's fucking do the worst attempt ever. I should have made that work. That was just a horrible setup. Yeah, career, whatever. Like, you can say career, I guess. Like, you can say whatever you want, bro. Like, I'm not telling you how to fucking call what I do. I'm just telling you how I look at it. Yeah, boo-hoo. Yeah, exactly. Oh, boo-hoo. I have it so hard. I'm, I can't get world record today. So true. You'll support me when I switch to pinball. You know what's so funny is like anytime I talk about like streaming or playing other things besides Spyro is I'll always get some messages like that that are like, Dale, I'm here for you, not the game. I'll support you no matter what. But, you know, it's funny because you really don't as much as I really appreciate that and I'm glad that you exist for that. Um, it just doesn't like speak for everyone, you know, it gives me if anything gives me the wrong idea. It gives me the wrong, it makes me think that, oh, well, I'll just go do something else and expect a similar amount of support just because a bunch of people are saying that they'll support me in my chat. Well, talk is cheap, you know, and fucking doing something else, like the proof is in the pudding. If I switch away from Spyro and do something else, the, the, the reality is less people will care. That's just the bitter reality. Even if some of you guys still do stick around and support. Like, I can't go off of, uh, you know, people just being like, oh, I'll support you no matter what. I can't go by, by that. In fact, you're kind of pointing me in the wrong direction almost by telling me something like that. But I, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it, though. I'd be nothing without you. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just human nature, man. It's like we say one thing, but, you know, reality is another. And that's okay. Because I like, I like grinding this game and speedrunning it and all this shit. I still got many hours and, you know, and runs and journeys and breakthroughs to make in, in these games, so... I'm definitely not wearing thin. I'm not about to retire soon or anything. So I'm good. Still a 39, not bad. With, like, multiple tries on the rat and, like, a fucking god-awful pace. 36, 37, I mean, that's, like, pretty average no-reset, like, uh, Dreamweavers. What about Ganasty Ganork? You love the Toy Story 2 playthrough? Yeah, man, those videos are so fun because it's like when people really like those, it's like it's, it provides a window into like, oh, actually, I can maybe do something like that if I get lucky with that multiple times over and over. <laughs> um, your parents got you OG Spyro and you inspired to get into speedrunning. Thank you, love it. Thank you, Tetra. That's like the kindest thing. That's like one of the most heart uh, warming things I've ever uh, read. Thank you, Tetra. I've seen you around. Good luck with the uh, the grind and the learning and all that. Let me know if you have any questions. Of course. You could stop streaming altogether and I'll still support you. <laughs> yeah. You lost interest when Dan started playing Spyro 2 and 3. I mean, it takes balls for you to, to say that aloud in my chat. I'll give you that. But yeah, most people who that's true for, and the funny thing is that's true for uh, not that exact thing, but a sentiment like that. Like, oh, I lost interest when he started playing something else. That sentiment is true for the majority of your audience. Like, if you're a streamer or a gamer or whatever online. It's true for the majority of your audience. They're gonna just lose interest if you just do something different. Um, but, like, the, the funny thing about it is they're not gonna be vocal. The people that leave... Because think about it. Like, if people leave, they're not in your chat to tell you something like that, you know? It's only the, the, the vocal minority that's gonna be like, I'll be here no matter what. So it really gives you the wrong idea of like what you can and can't do to just listen to your to listen to what people are saying in your chat all the time. But like I said, uh, I do appreciate it. Just to reiterate that again, not to say I don't appreciate it. But yeah, it takes balls to say something like that, right? Falcon fetus, I respect you for it. It's like, hey, you know, I, I don't care when you play Spyro, and and that's ballsy. Like Spyro, two, I'm still playing Spyro two and three. I think a lot of you guys. That actually does not speak for the majority of my audience, because most people, like, will still watch, if even if I'm playing those games. But if I played, like, fucking Katamari mm. Damachi, like I did that one time... Oh my god, who gives a fuck, you know? Thank you for the Prime, Tetra. Appreciate that. Anyways, I'm done talking about audience interaction and stuff like that. Who cares? I'm losing interest in this own... in my own topic of conversation here. <laughs> uh, I should probably open the PS2 here.
Well, I guess, uh, I guess I didn't have to open the disc tray there. Do 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 What do you guys think? One more run? Should I do one more? I have one more left in me. I I really don't want to grind this game super hard today, but I feel like I can't just do one run and call it a day. You guys saying Uno Mas? Alright, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready for the world's shittiest run. Let's go. Please do not expect greatness. I am having a not optimal game day. Three, two, one, go. Not a bad day, just a suboptimal day. You want me to play porn games? Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been dude, one of my favorite Flash games is Love Hina Date Sim RPG. I played that on stream once, dude. That fucking legendary game, dude. It's like my childhood right there, is that fucking Flash game. The new rat setup got implemented, gosh, like a year ago, when, like, maybe just under a year ago, when uh, Days Bag of Bones was, like, coming up with different... Days has, like, ten different versions of getting into Nasty, you know, early, that you can see on his YouTube channel, but most of them are, like, kind of tasks only. Type beat. Oops. Timer didn't start. All right, I'll just reset. One sec. That's weird. I pressed it. That's weird. It's fucked that a lot of the flash games that weren't con converted to HTML are lost. It, dude. Ah, oh, you're so right. What are we gonna do without the fucking power defense fucking Naruto version that barely works correctly and breaks like on level three? Fuck, dude. It's a piece of history. Fucking who cares, dude? All right, three, two, one, go. Let's get it. Most of the Flash games that mattered still exist. You can download like a giant fucking repository of them like online somewhere. Okay, so, you know, as long as stick RPG and whatnot are still around, like, I don't, I don't care about, like... There's enough, I'll put it this way, there's enough preserved Flash games that, like, you know, I don't think we're, like, missing that big of a chunk of history here or anything. I didn't reset the timer. Thanks for the info. <laughs> you like you like zones flash games? Just like fucking tentacle monster type shit. Speed up. Yeah, dude, most flash games are our shit, like Like once you've played like once you've played like a dozen of them, you've played them all basically. So I don't really feel like it's... And like I said, there's like a ton of Flash games you can just download. It's like a giant fucking like 3 gig like zip folder online somewhere. So it's like, you don't really need... It's not, it's not like we're missing anything too much. Happy Wheels was over... Oh, Happy Wheels was funny, but Happy Wheels was the... Uh, was a product of, of the Line Rider uh, era. Which, if you guys remember, in like 06, like the biggest game on the internet was like, was Line Rider. And so it spawned an entire genre of Line Rider clones, Happy Wheels being one of them. It's crazy to think that people don't even remember Line Rider. You know? Just because Happy Wheels was like the thing like that everyone played on YouTube, but... No, Line Rider was like the, was the... Was the origin of that. And was way bigger than Happy Wheels was at the time, I will say. It's just funny how history kind of distorts the uh, way that is. Yeah, a little penguin guy on the sled. It was a McDonald's game? I didn't even know that. I thought it was just like a Flash game online.
the Bill Cosby flash game. Yeah, just super depraved. It's like you're fucking like buying drugs and stuff like on the street, like slapping people over. Like, oh my god, that flash game is horrible. That's like its own genre right there. Just like tastelessly horrible, you know, flash games. I think I remember playing that one. Yeah, that's what it was, Time Traveler. <laughs> Chuck the corpse into the fucking hole. So stupid. Learned who Bin Laden was from a Flash game. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy how our fucking generation grew up, dude. <laughs> we learn about world history through Flash games and shit. Oh my god. Through MySpace. Remember when McDonald's had GameCube games? Yeah, I still have um, the Burger King uh, games. I still have Sneak King uh, and Pocket Bike Racer and whatever the other one is. Big Bumpin. Oh my god, me and my friends would get stoned in high school and play Big Bumpin. That show was so funny. The music was like a banger in that game, I remember. Doesn't have to be pretty to worth preserving. I could care less about 90% of games because a lot of shit is already filled with your favorite games. I, I think I get what you're saying because it's like that's kind of how I feel about like modern games. It's like, why would I give a fuck about like a new game coming out when like there are so many games like on PlayStation 1 and 2 that I still haven't played yet that I know are probably like way better than any fucking modern game. It's like, if you just go back in history, it's like, there's so many games to be played, and like... Like, why are we gonna sit here and, like, wait for GTA 6, you know what I mean? Like, uh... Or force ourselves to play fucking Starfield or whatever. Just because it's new, you know? Oh, I wasn't supposed to death abuse that. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can get Mom and Proxy. The recovery. Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll count it. <laughs> Bug it. There you go. No time loss. That's you know what's funny is that's pretty much the same time loss as if you just like just keep going and don't do mama proxy. This is probably gonna be like 10, 15 seconds lost. That's actually not that bad compared to the recovery. And more gems too, so. I was really banking on the second try there. Yeah, this run ain't PBing, thankfully. I, it's a weight off my shoulders. I kind of don't want runs to PB today. I'm just not playing like that. Like, the last run was kind of stressful because it was, like, kind of PBable, but then it just got frustrating when I, like, wasn't that guy, you know? So this one's, this one's more, more good for my soul.
Jesse, thank you for the streak. You know what's funny is I say all that shit about like, it's good that I'm not on PV pace because the pressure's off. And now I'm like actually starting to clutch up and like focus like harder. <laughs> like, timing just so bad. Whatever. Keep it going. Damn, that was a close one. Honestly thought that was gonna fail. Hannah Montana Spotlight World Tour. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get Sarah to start speedrunning uh, Zaboomafu. Like, nobody plays that game. Surely there's gotta be kids talking to Switch. Dude, yeah, that's the funny thing is like, imagine like you're like a, like a 12, 13 year old kid and you're like, damn man, remember the Wii U? Oh man, back in the day, we used to play like Skyward Sword and stuff. They, they don't make them like they used to. We used to play fucking Ring Fit Adventure, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh man. You guys remember the Wii U? So it's just, it's like you said, it's like totally like generational. If you go to like people that are even older than us, you know, they're gonna be fucking talking about like fucking Doom and like Super Nintendo and shit like that. And then even older than that, they're talking about like Ataris and what if you like were a fan of Ataris, like you were like considered yourself a gamer back in those days, you were just like a fucking nerd. You weren't even cool for that. <laughs> you know? So just the generational gap like within video games is definitely real. I mean, you can, the fun thing about video games is they're still the same thing now that they were back in the 70s or 80s or now. like whatever game came out back then, you could still play it and experience it now. It's like the same game, you know? Um, so like, you know, you can still go through and get like a really good experience, like a unique, like real experience like that some fucking old fuck. You know, who used to be a kid in like the 80s. Like, I remember this when I played, uh, I played Legend of Zelda 1, I remember, on an emulator. This was like in high school, I remember. And I remember just like getting so into that game, not using any guides or anything. And just getting so into it and like finding things myself and struggling. And then eventually looking up maps and guides after I like got through a few dungeons. And I remember being like, damn, like, I really gave myself like the 80s kid experience with that game, you know? So like a kid nowadays could still do that. That's like kind of the cool magic with video games is that they are very much like time capsules. No, I did not have a ton of marbles. I had a ton of Hot Wheels. I had like a big Hot Wheels collection. I don't know why. I wasn't even like really that super into Hot Wheels. I just had a lot of them. I guess you have to ask my parents about that one. I'm sure they would tell you a different story. They'd probably be like, oh my god, when when Dale was pooping his pants, man, he loved Hot Wheels. Like, I'm sure they'd tell you some shit like that. In my mind, it's like, I don't even remember. I was so young, I don't even remember. Yes, my parents call me Deo. Dude, imagine. Oh! Fuck. I'm okay with anybody except, like... I'm okay with anyone except my parents or my girlfriend calling me Deo. Like, if you see me at a con or something, or at, like, a GDQ, like, I expect you to call me Deo. Like, I, I'm not gonna be that guy that's like, oh, no, please, call me Penis, or whatever the, my real name is. I don't even remember. <laughs> Call me Jonathan Ballsack. 
call me Benji's Miggle. I'm fine with people calling me Deo in real life. If I know them through my stream, you know, or through streaming. But yeah, like anytime you go to a GDQ or something, it's always like... Oh yeah, you know, it's me, Deo, you know, it's like, oh, what's your username? Oh, it's, you know, it's fucking, you know, Penis Slayer. It's Pussy Slayer 420, but you can just call me Michael, you know? <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm not gonna remember that, like, but okay. <laughs> just like how I am with you guys in the chat, it's like... It's like, if you want me to remember a username and your real name, like... Damn, dude, you're asking a lot, I can barely do one. Fuck off. Please work. Dude, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, wow, what movement? What recoveries? Dog, what the fuck am I doing? Hello. Fuck, what's that? Right? Jump off the fucking... Next level stuff. Yeah, the yellow guys look like Maggie in the first beast. Too. Alpine in the Ferocious Ridge. I call these big. I never watched Maggie the Ferocious Beast, so I just call the big, the yellow guys. I call them Yellow Keks. Big Yellow Keck. I have an autograph worked out? No. I've never been asked for an autograph just because someone recognizes me as a streamer. That's like... You guys think I'm that big of a deal? Come on now. I'm not... <laughs> no. Who am I, Pokemon? Dude, I'm a speedrunner. I'm like the opposite of a big deal. This bitch said I'm the next big thing. Bitch, you can get down and suck this big thing. Dude, I was too fast. Literally punished for being too fast. I will say, I have had people be like, dude, it's weird, like, sitting next to you in person. You know, because they're so used to, like, watching me through a screen. <laughs> I have had that happen before. It's like, what the fuck? It's just like, <laughs> I've had people be more upset to meet me in person. You know, more more estranged by meeting me in person than, than actually excited. Just be like, what the fuck, dude? Like, why aren't you in a fucking top left of a screen right now? How dare you exist? Yeah, and that's the other most common thing I get is it's weird seeing you in a t-shirt. Because, you know, I don't go into public shirtless too often. Dude, I keep fucking up that supercharge. Um. Do, do, do. I'm 
great googly boogly. <laughs> Jumping jelly beans. You know how I was talking about the Zaboomafu video game? In that game, uh, the fucking character you play as, he'll just randomly be like, I love beans! And so me, so Sarah and I just say that shit to each other. Now. Beans are the best. I love beans. I do love beans. Beans get such a bad rep, dude. Beans get a bad rep because I feel like 90% of beans in the world are eaten out of a can. And that's a shame because in my humble, correct opinion, cooking your own dry beans from scratch, it, it really, it makes you feel like a Mexican grandmother. And they're cheap, dude. They're like the, they're like the quintessential struggle food. Dry beans and rice. Are you are you poor? <laughs> are did, did, are you do you play video games on Twitch instead of going to a real job that you went to university for? Beans and rice, baby. I bought some pinto beans from the uh, grocery store today. Really looking forward to making some homemade refried beans. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it takes like several hours. <laughs> You know, of like spinning the beans and making sure they're not like burning and shit. And then you got to smush them down and add like whatever the lard and the, the whatever, you know, after. But God damn it. I, I know that sounds like way too much effort, but it's fucking worth it, dude. I don't know. Any sort of cooking, like making something that already exists as like a canned or prepackaged product. Like if you can cook it yourself and have fun with it. Oh, my God. It it's like a life changing experience. I want to get that way with tortillas. I'm, I still am not, like, awoken to the homemade tortilla vibe. I've tried making homemade tortillas. I'm, like, the worst when it comes to doughs. Anything that requires, like, a dough to be made. Oh, my God. I always fuck it up. I'm just not good with doughs. Like, pizza, tortillas, bread. Those are things I just suck at making at home. I, I really need to get over my own insecurity and just keep fucking throwing my dough at the wall until I get it. If you saw me at a con, you'd ask you to sign Spyro. Dude, I've invite like, I'm not even joking. Any, like, con, I went to a con the other, like, weekend. I invited my whole stream several times. And not a single person from my stream went. You guys just, like, you guys just make me feel so, uh, so alone. I'm going to a, uh, to another thing, um, in April. It's like a Japanese festival in DC. It's called Sakura Matsuri. So if any of you guys live in the DC area, feel free to go to that. Feel free to hit me up. I'll let you know when I'm going. Oh fuck. This is bad. Uh, not like that. Perfect execution. I almost had that too. State of my in Virginia. If I ever come to Germany, okay, now here comes all the foreign chatters. Yes, I realize that not all of my viewers are from America. Thank you for sharing. I, I'm aware of this. Dude, they were trying to get me to go to ESA in uh, Shemp's stream the other night. And I looked at plane tickets. Bro, for me and Sarah to go to ESA, just for the plane and the hotel, that's like $2,000 for us both to go. Just for a few days. No fucking crazy. And this is like multiple, many, many months in advance. If I were to just go by myself and then like crash on someone's floor, okay, maybe sub $1,000 after food and everything if I really budget. But even then, like, oh my god. Just, just to go get drunk with some gamers, like, fuck that. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm on on my way to Mongolia right now, and then Brazil right after that.
Yeah, any North Korean viewers here? Gotta get the North Korea representation. You guys ever see that video of um of like a supposed internet cafe in uh in North Korea? Yeah, it's like obviously just like a press tour, you know, they're just taking like you know, people around to be like, oh look, we have internet here, see? And it's just a room full it's like an office building room full of people sitting in front of Google just staring at the screen. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Unpaid actors? <laughs> He's just staring at- it's like there's an iconic clip of a guy just staring at the Google home screen. <laughs> it's like, yep, that's how you use the internet. It checks out, they're on the internet. You can't say they're not on the internet. I should taste barbecue enchiladas. That sounds like a not great combo, but I would try it for sure. It, that, that could be good or it could be atrocious. That's kind of the nature of enchiladas. Enchiladas are one of those foods that you can like put like, you can put so much effort into them and make them so fucking good. Like make your own salsa for them, you know, roll up the tortilla, grill your own meat for it, do all that shit. Um, or you could just get everything out of a fucking can and it's just a fucking disgusting base. It's just like fucking, just tastes like fucking cafeteria food. You know? Enchiladas have like a huge variance like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely weary of, of any, any enchiladas that I don't fully think are going to be homemade. Speaking of um, homemade enchiladas, um, I'm going to be making a salsa tonight. Got some nice Anaheim peppers. I know, I know, they're it's pussy shit. I know they're not even that, they're not even as hot as jalapenos, I know. It's because I want Sarah to eat it. I'm going to make a green salsa with that and some tomatillos and onion and garlic and stuff. I turned it right there, I'm not supposed to turn right. Be yummy. I made a banging steak sandwich. I believe it, dude. I actually made a leftover uh, chicken sandwich today. I mean, I cooked a like a a chicken and pesto thing for uh, Sarah last night, and uh, the leftover chicken and pesto I turned into a nice sandwich on some toasted bread and whatnot. It's quite delish. You put in pico de gallo in quotations. Like, I'm not talking about dicks here or anything. Do I ever get pampered? You mean like, do I go get my nails done and stuff? No. Sometimes Sarah scratches my back though. What's up, So? Thank you for the kind words. You're very cute. Oops. Camera got me all fucked up there. Anaheim's are more on the sweet side, dude. We'll see. We will see. I paint my nails sometimes. Yeah, whenever I go to like uh, to like GDQ, I always get my nails painted. It's like a fun like little pastime to get your nails painted in it, drunk in a hotel room. Shouts to Patches. 
for starting that tradition. Yeah, smell of alcohol and nail polish, true. And sweaty gamer, don't forget that. But yeah, no, I have not painted my nails at all lately. Oops, didn't jump into that. And we got some chuggers in the chat. Let's go Tetra, nasty. Cooking stream when? Cooking stream when? I love watching... I love watching streamers fuck around in the kitchen. Like little fucking children. With fucking cables and mics not working everywhere. I love cooking streams. They're so funny. They're just a big good... They're just a big romp. They're just a big riot. Have you watched Pokimane lately? Oh my god, doesn't she look great? She looks wonderful. She's glowing. <laughs> Cooking stream when? Oh my god. Have you heard the new Twitch news? Have you heard the new Twitch news? That they're- that they've unbanned the- the sexual streamers? I'm just- uh, have you seen the- the moist critical? Oh my god. Twitch is dying. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. You know, you're really you're really tuned into it, aren't you? You know? You really know what's going on. <laughs> I'm about to buzz. Oh, I'm about to buzz. Oh my god, just jump a reasonable height, you dumb fuck. Holy moly. This guy can't fucking go up the fuck. This guy's wearing the iron boots from fucking Zelda. You must floss and use a water pick. I do not use a water pick. If you use a water pick, you're a fucking nerd, dude. I'm sorry. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just, I'm just saying that. I'm just stating the facts. If you use a water pick, you're either like 12 and have braces and a retainer, or you're just a fucking nerd. But you know what? Like, respect, because your teeth are probably healthier than 99% of people. It's really not meant to be a diss. But yeah, I brush and floss every night. I don't use a water pickaxe. Yeah, nerds are cool. Ner nerd is not derogatory in this sense. Even though it sounded like it. Oil pulling, dude. Yeah, what the fuck is that, bro? This dude's put olive oil on his toothbrush or something. He just pulls each of his teeth out one by one and oils them up before putting them back in. You know, just keep keep your mouth all lubed up so you can really chomp through food more efficiently. Probably what he's referring to.
Use a band saw on your teeth. I use a sawzall for my teeth. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, that was satisfying. Kind of, I might have a half chub right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That was nice. This whole run was a joke, but at least we got a cute flop there. God's worst runs always get the best flops. God gives his worst tummy aches to his strongest warriors. Never forget that. Dude, my ear itches. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay. I, I de definitely did not scratch the thing that was itching. Dude. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I can mind over matter at this point. Alright. That's what I'm talking about, dude. God gives his hardest, you know, his most his most annoying scratches to his fucking bitches fucking shit. You know? Ben Franklin said that. <laughs> Dude, my fucking- everything's just itchy now. Right, let's go. Dude, how many gems do I have? Five, six, four, three. Okay. That's good, right? That's good. I'm just gonna grab these. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Top level runner, by the way. World record contender, by the way. Cannot do basic arithmetic required to play this category quickly. Why did I hit that? I am a dumb fuck. Jock. Ooh, save it to, uh, save a second or two. I'll take that. How bad's the gem count? I'm oh, looking gorgeous. Love that. All right. Dude, if I fucking first try rat, it's a 37, actually. That actually, this could tie my, my old PB. Here we go. Pray. Oh, that was a valiant effort by me there. I, I honestly, that was a respectable attempt. I did not turn right enough. That should have worked if I'd have pressed right. I just forgot that I had to press right there. I'm not even joking. This is not going to work. Yeah, too far left. Good attempts, except for the second and third one, except for everything. Those attempts were good, except that I fucking hate myself. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck, Gorillax. That first try should have worked, though. I'll stand by that. Ah, now I'm just getting. Now I'm just in the fucking blender now. Yeah, Rat just wants. Rat's playing games to my heart now. Yeah, that one's not even gonna work. There we go. Beauty. What do we got? Uh, 38, I think? This is still 38-able? Let's go. I love how 38s in this category are now just like, whatever, who cares, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, you know that used to be like really good, right? Like this is still faster than going through North Cove and Twilight Harbor. <laughs> I'm over here like, ugh. This rat's such a such a dirty slut, such a choosy hoe. 
This rat's such a frigid bidgeon. Such a what's a what are the other words? Uh, not like sussy, but um. Oh god, what's the word I'm looking for? It's something with a Y at the end. Not skimpy, not sussy, not zesty. It's one of those words. F? Wait, did my stream die? Oh, my, my stream's alive, I guess. It was dropping frames. Oh, it's still dropping frames. My bad. It's on my end. We still got the 38. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Don't worry about it. You guys can still hear me. Help me find this word. Guys, stop talking about this, the frame drops. Talk about the word I'm looking for. Oh my god, you guys are such bitch. Bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. What's fucking, uh... I'd say the sky's the limit. God, what is it? It's not sussy. It's not choosy. It's, um... Thanks for the GGs. And fuck you, everyone, talking about my bitrate. You guys gotta help me here. Um... Fucking... Oh, this is gonna kill me. Not hussy. We're getting closer. Sissy! Sissy! It's a sissy asshole! This rat, this rat is just a sissy slut. Just a sissy little strut. Such a sissy bitch. S a sissy... A sissy... A sissy... Uh... Little sissy piss. A little stingy, yeah, like a little like kind of slutty but picky. Like that's the word I'm looking for. She's a sissy strut, dude. It's just a sissy strut. Dickless bitch burger. Slutty but picky. You know what I mean? Who here does that apply to? I might just go offline because my my fucking bitrate is being horrible. So I think I, I think I'm just done for today. I was I, I wasn't gonna do more runs. I was probably gonna do a photo shoot, but I'm too lazy. I kind of want to just eat minestrone with Sarah and smoke a bowl. I think I earned it today. I wasn't gonna go online at all. So um, yeah, I know you guys. I know it's a slideshow right now. So thank you everyone for watching. I'm gonna find someone to raid. I think. Thank you everyone for watching. You little sissies. You little sissy struts. Sissy sluts. Hope you guys enjoyed the runs. Good thing uh, the stream got all... I think it's fixed now. I think it's better now. Do you guys want to see me do a, a Spyro photo shoot? Does anyone give a fuck about that? I could do that. I don't really want to, though. I'm just, like, I'm being a little sissy right now. Yeah, I'm being a, I'm being a little... Prin I'm being a pillow princess right now. I don't think I want to. I'm going to raid someone. Hello? Work? But there's me. Uh, should I raid Laura for like the millionth time? I'm gonna raid Dragon Blitz. Or no, let me see who else is on. You give a fuck? Yeah, right. If you really gave a fuck, you would get naked right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you're now you're not so big. Now you're not so big for your britches. Um. Should I rate a VTuber playing uh, Spyro 3? I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's not even a speedrunner. Let's just rate this VTuber. She seems nice. She seems cute. Did I spell that right? Alright, guys. We're doing the forbidden raid, the the Spyro VTuber raid. I always stunt on Spyro casual VTubers. They're like their own, uh, they're their own genre of Spyro streamers. <laughs> they're funny. <laughs> they're cute. I don't have anything against VTubers. Except that they all suck. They're all bitches. Tetra and Vivi in the chat. Hmm. Start a flame war here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the Twitter. I'm gonna get uh, what this. I'm gonna get in the sub tweets here. I'm just kidding. YouTubers are cool. Um. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, it was a good day. 
It was a good day. Uh, yeah. In conclusion, uh, I could not get world record today because I'm being a sissy strut. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully we actually get some good runs then. And I love you, and have a good day. Peace. Bye.